Hello guys, my name is The Blown Tire, otherwise known as Will. Today I'm bringing you a commentary, and this is not my typical commentary. It's more of an, an analogy, it's about why I think the mind is the greatest weapon in any player's arsenal within Battlefield 3. And you may be wondering, sweet cream on an ice cream sandwich, what in the blue hell am I on about? And really, I'm only on about the way people think causes a better result for you and in particular your team. So this is a prime example of where thinking and understanding everything else that's happening around you comes into into success and you don't need to be an expert at battlefield you don't need to have the best gun skill in the world to do this you just need to know what you're doing you need to understand where the flag is where the capture radius is those are the standard basic points and then you look at the dynamics where's the enemy tank where d where's it moving can i get in it can i kill shall i move back should i move forward i'm getting injured shall i pull back to repair things like that they're dynamic they're never the same match is never the same each match is slightly different because it has different dynamics and if you can use your mind to adapt to a scenario you will succeed and win simple as you don't need to be the best battlefield player you just need to understand what's happening at one time so basic knowledge engineer if you have lo loads of vehicles on a map use an engineer kit you can first of all destroy and then repair and destroy vehicles two things which are needed you also need to understand and you need to use your mind to think what is the best weapon loadout for either your gun or a tank as you can see here picked killed the tank boom there you go, pick the correct loadout to kill. And then I see we're losing A. So you think, yes, I can move to A to potentially not allow them to capture and recapture it. Using the correct equipment that suits you, thermals suit me, you can pick out targets easily. Without thermals I probably would not have picked him out. But luckily I managed to kill him because I had knowledge and thought, huh? Let's switch to thermal vision. Thermal vision will allow me to see where I'm going and what I'm doing. So much easier. Basic thing. Here I'm waiting on the flag. I'm looking around every little nook and cranny. I'm making sure it's scanned and cleared. There you go. I'm engaging another target. Even though, I don't, even though I'm not successful. Using thermal vision and using knowledge of the map. I can tell he's out of the capture radius. And I'll try and prevent him from coming to the capture radius. See, I'm, I'm loitering in the capture radius, just making sure that nothing's happening. I pull around. There you go. There you go, I'm starting to engage the enemy. Because the quicker you can engage an enemy in a gunfight, the more chance you'll have to succeed there, taking him out. I know the map. I know where enemies will be. I know that I need to keep on my toes. And look at little nooks and crannies. I pull away to see if anyone's on the flag. Because it will start flashing. There you go. There is. So I reverse right back in. And now I understand there may be certain enemies around. So I'll look around. Fire. Because that was glowing. The more intelligent people think glowing. What could they be? Could they be mines? Could they be C4? I don't know what that was. But an intelligent battlefield player would think that. And immediately act. Based on their instinct. And you can see I'm just bobbing around, popping in and out to see if there's an enemy within the A capture radius. Because I, I want to make sure that there's no enemies on the burn. Now I'm watching the tank. I'll go past it, making sure, and I'll pull slightly away from the A flag. trying to, And then I can see again A's flashing. Using your knowledge and using your brain as the best weapon in the whole game. You can act on that and start taking out the enemy tank. Because remember when it's one on one with the tank you're equal. All it depends on is your tank skill and the way you have positioned and set up your tank. So you can see I'm constant. 
luckily I managed to disable it there and I'm starting to move switch to my side so it will shoot through my reactive armor so it's shooting through one side so I turn the tank around so it can shoot through my reactive armor that skill you know and again I can see using thermal so I'm trying to use my overall tank shell then using my heavy machine gun to try and clear the infantry out the more you can clear the infantry out the better it is for you and your team staying on the burn watching trying to make sure that your enemies do not capture you see there run over I knew what I was doing I popped out because that was instinctive before the tank even stopped I was out making sure that that guy could not see for me there you go eliminating him he was keeping the flag on the burn so now we start taking him down so you got there making sure that's clear make sure no one spawned on him neutralizing the flag going back to check the main road an obvious checkpoint moving over to other sides sometime to have a look for the obvious checkpoints moving in and out of objects and then going away you've